I was ready if you's ready. We're both ready. For yeah, Com considering that last week messed me up. Well, we missed you being here. However, um, we held you I down. I'm like you, Genoa. Look, look at this. So these two. Uh huh. And these two. <laughs> <laughs> you were in there just. <laughs> and, I, and I have two other pieces of paper. I'm like, girl, stop. <laughs> stop, girl. So I, I'll do the. T I'm gonna do these two tonight. Um. So I'll do the pink one and I'll do the stripe one. Oh, I forgot to change the color on that. That's okay. Okay. So what can? So. Did you figure out what you were going to put inside of them too? Yes. So this pink one here is going to have this mat inside. Oh, okay. And it's going to have three layers of ballerinas. Okay. And then this box here with the stripes. I just haven't decided which way I want to do the stripes. This way or this way. Uh, either this way or this way. And it's going to have candy inside. And it's going to have this character on it. Oh, I love her. And I put, um, what do you call it? Dimension tape on the, the actual mat. Hi. <laughs> My sister. Hello, sister. Mythology in the house. Oh, I see her in real life now. <laughs> Yeah, this is my five-year younger twin, although she's looking much younger than me these days. <laughs> five years seems like 500. I didn't ask for your input. My bad, my bad. I thought we was no, I wrong. didn't ask for your input. No, no, I, I <laughs> yeah. All right, so... You did it? Oh, she said she didn't get her notification. The YouTube Yeah. Oh, now I want to come in. Oh, you just got it now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so hello to everybody that's in the live. I don't see any comments yet in the chat, but that's quite all right. I can see you here. Hey, Toya. Black people, what's up? Hey. <laughs> hey, sister. So, um, we got mixology in the house. We have Latoya of Latoya's gift baskets in the house. Hello, Latoya. I'm Genoa. I am the curator of this channel, A Crafty Mess. I am the crafty mess. My crafts are not. Last week, we had learned a slogan. You remember what the slogan was? Mm -hmm. Do what I say, not what I do. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. impatient. Don't be impatient like me. Do what I say, not what I do. OK. Um, I'm also owner of Rikea Moore. And then we have Tara Lee Gooding, and she is Precious Delights Canada. Yes. Paper crafter, artiste, graphic <laughs> designer, and all around awesome mod. We're going to be doing shadow boxes tonight. Yes. So when I was in here playing around and doing my little ideas for what I wanted to do with the shadow box, I thought of something else. Wouldn't these be really cute as gift display boxes. So we talked about possibly doing like acetate on one to make it give the appearance of it being an actual shadow box with the glass um, panel, what have you. What about those ones, you know, where they take the acetate and they just wrap it around and you slide it on and off? So then you can see whatever is in here and be presented and you just have that acetate slide and just yeah. you take a bow and you know what I'm saying? So I was thinking about that too. So I think I'm going to do like some 
gift display. Cigar band or whatever? The acetate yeah. cigar band? Yeah. Exactly. But it would have to be um, your camera's frozen. Oh, there it goes. Um, it would have to be like a full cigar band so that whatever's in there doesn't fall out. You know what I'm saying? Hmm. Yeah, so that would be cute. Okay, so um, there is no um, right or wrong way to do the shadow box. You can follow the instruction and my software to use. Template is going to be coming soon for this, but we actually did these by hand and that's how easy they were. So you don't have to have any special equipment. You don't have to have a template, although you can purchase one when it's available and that would be awesome, but you don't have to. You can do it by hand and you can have very minimal supplies. So if you are not a crafter, someone who is like Tara and I or uh, Latoya that I can see this in here that has like a whole room and or more their house with all their craft stuff in it you can actually still do these um i'm going to be using my tools because i paid for them they mine and i'm going to use them but i will let you know <laughs> that you can do the same thing and accomplish it with like a ruler a dull pencil using that as like a score tool you don't have to have necessarily a, a scoreboard or a bone folder or any of those they do come in handy if this is something you're going to be doing often, but you can get by um, with the tutorial. We're just using basic around the stuff out. So everyone should have, if not a ruler, something that is straight and that um, can be used to take, well, you need a ruler because you can take measurements if you don't have like a scoreboard or something. So duh, never mind. <laughs> you need at least a ruler. Yeah, at least a um, ruler. At least the ruler. Okay. And then you can use scissors. You don't have to have a paper cutter. You don't have to have a cricket machine. You can use um, scissors. And it's actually, we're only cutting what? Eight times, just little, very little cuts. Okay. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six. About 10 times, give or take. The yeah. four squares and, the, and then the, uh, the little slanted parts. Yep. Yep. Cool. So there's not very much cutting and I'm going to do my best not to overcomplicate things because it really is not complicated at all. The hardest part is if, um, and Tara and I talked about this earlier, if you're someone like myself that when it gets to, you start talking about measurements, it kind of gets a little bit like, oh God, measurements then initially that may be like the hardest part to deal with, but I, I promise you it's very easy. And I'll mm -hmm. show you um, on your ruler or whatever exactly what we're gonna be doing. So before, I was gonna say before I switch to the camera, cause you know, once I switch to the overhead camera, I cannot see the comments. My sister's here, so she'll be helping me make sure that I don't miss any comments that come through but um did you want to just show the ones did you have you completed any of them yet or you still you have your things cut out that you're going to put inside of them yeah okay. so let's see what you're gonna do what 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 uh well what first of all out? let's go in the <laughs> order of construction i did this one first <laughs> so that one first and this is all paper, guys. Yeah. So I did list in the description, I believe, the stuff that you will need. Um, this is um, 12 by 12 cardstock for yes. designer paper. And this is the second one. Cute. Same thing, designer paper. Mm -hmm. This is the third one. So I'm going to be working on this one, but I'm not sure if I'm going to go this way or this way. And again. then this is this is the fourth one. <laughs> that one is super super cute. 
And so for them, I have a Candyland background for one. I don't know if it is that too bright. Can you see it? I can see it. That better? I can see it. And this is the one of the, this is the character that's gonna go on that. Mm -hmm. And then for the other one, I have a pink background and a little ballerina who's gonna sit in the center. And I cut them each three times so that they're gonna be um I guess elevated. And I did put foam tape on the back of my scenery so that way it's not sitting flat in the shadow box. It actually will be raised itself. Fancy. So what I'll do is I'll put the characters on this first and then mount this inside. All right. Well, you fancy with it. I wasn't that fancy with mine. I just stuck mine right inside the box. So the for the ones that I made that I used designer paper, I did not put an insert inside because the designer paper shows from the outside in and that inside was already a white, which is already a contrast. Mm -hmm. So I actually did not put anything um, inside. So this was one of the ones that I did. It has the shamrocks. That's what they're called, shamrocks. That's it. We're calling them three-leaf clovers. We're calling them clovers and four-leaf <laughs> three clovers. Shamrocks. Shamrock. That's what yes. they're called. Okay, so shamrocks because I, I guess that's a holiday people celebrate. So, yeah, that. <laughs> and I'm going to put this uh, little cute little teddy bear guy. Um. I don't have any more black card stock, so I was just gonna stick him in. So nothing, um, nothing too too fancy with that one. And then, let's see. Oh, I did want to show you guys this. So with the same sheet of twelve by camera is hello. With the same sheet of 12 by 12, you can get two different looks. So we made both of these shadow box type frames um, using a 12 by 12 card stock. The only difference is in how big you make your score lines. So on the ones that we made the score lines wider, we ended up with a final result where the um, box is smaller, however, the frame part is much thicker and I think a lot cuter. Um, I agree. But then when we did these, the score lines we did smaller and so our frame ended up larger. Still cute, but um, I, I like the way that this one looks with the thicker, thicker side. So, all right, so, um, like I said, I didn't get fancy like Tara. Thank you for getting fancy, Tara. I was just going. You do it to me all the time. <laughs> I know. Well, whatever. <laughs> She's like payback. <laughs> I was just going to pop my little bunny up on a couple different offsets, and they don't even match in colors because I ran out of black cardstock. And how do you do that? How how do you run out of black white cardstock, black cardstock? You just always have those. I, I don't understand how that happened so anyway you take inventory. Not, not too happy with the way it's looking because I, these were not the colors that i had envisioned in my mind and i'm just gonna where is the camera then pop him up let me hold it in my chest but that's adorable I, yeah just pop him up in the middle of that and i don't have a background or anything oh you know what i lied never mind i did print this little thing out with this little chicken chick thing so I'm going to kind of put that in the background and then put him on top of that. Yeah. Adorable. All right. And then um, my other two frames, I did go ahead and already put my things inside. So I figured, like I said, to try not to make it too complicated so that we're um, overdoing it. But these were the cuties. Bring it closer. I can't tell what it is. It's a girl with a headband. I mean, a head yeah, wrap? A girl with a headband and some earrings. Okay. And then on the bigger frame. Cute. Where's the 
heck of a dang camera. There you go. <laughs> on the bigger brand. So again, on this, I use designer paper on this one, and um, it had a white background, so I did not put another one on there. Hi, Ebony. Um, on this, I use just regular craft cardstock, so I did just pop in a white background just to have it some kind of contrast. It's cute, like in a for decor or what have you. I, like you said, not in a bathroom because of the steam or whatever from the bathroom, it'll eventually mess with the paper, but you could definitely have these around an office or living room or something like that and whatever yeah. design that you want. And he said, OMG, I'm the squirky artist for those. So yeah, Ebony Smith. All right, Ebony. <laughs> Yeah, so we're using your beautiful tonight's live and the I have images from I think it's Teddy Bear Parade, which is also uh, in Design Space, and that's where I got Ebony's Im images from. It's from Design Space. I can't figure out this dang camera to save my life. I'll show these again when I go to the overhead camera. <laughs> All right, and then Tara, you're using your images are from? Mushka Clip Arts. I'm putting in the information now in the chat. Yes, ma'am. Oops. Candyland. And Valerinas. There we go. I don't go. know why that took a minute for me to register because you said Candyland, but for a brief second, I heard Ambulance. <laughs> <laughs> no, nope, Candyland. Candyland. So as you're doing the base with them, I'm gonna start peeling off these 5 billion and one pieces of um, dimensional tape. Okay, <laughs> because so I'm going to need to turn my volume down on my computer so as not to See, I have so many pieces of dimensional tape to remove. So you do your thing, I'll do my thing. All right, I'm gonna switch you guys over. Give me one second. How's oh, the camera better? Did you just leave me alone here? Yeah, I have to switch over to the other camera and it um it gives that feedback if I don't turn mine off. So I understand. I'm like she just left me alone. <laughs> Thank you, Miss Mixology, for helping us out in the comments. Thank you, Latoya. Is anybody crafting this evening? What are y'all doing? And where are y'all located? I'm in Quebec, Canada. Hence the name Precious Lights Canada. Mushka Clip, Clip Art started off in the UK and then migrated to Vancouver, but now she's back in Turkey where she was born. And so I am one of the reps for Mushka Clip Art. Can you oh, hear me, Tara? Yep, we can see you. All right. So I'm trying to think what what color cardstock do you think will work best to show what I'm doing? Um, something that's dark so you can see the score lines. Or do you think I should do it with a pen first so that everybody can see? Probably, yeah. So then, so then you would need a lighter, something mid pastel, I guess. Because, yeah, either way, when you fold the score lines, it's going to be inside. You won't see the mark. Okay, so let me see. Or do it with pencil. Is this cool if I do that with the... Uh... Yeah, you can do that with pencil. Okay. Um, 
I'll do it with pen just for demonstration purposes. I'm not really too worried about messing messing it up. So should we do the larger or the smaller? Um uh oh, I'm shifting the camera around. Oh, bless you. Um, Shaking the table. <laughs> which one are you decorating? Are you decorating the big one or the small one? Um, I have both that I can, but it doesn't really. We'll we'll go ahead and do the smaller one, just because I think that it's cuter. That's a good enough reason, right? Yeah, and then either way, you can give the um, measurements for both. Right. Right. Okay. So, um. I have a scoreboard here. Like I said, you don't have to have a scoreboard. You do need to have a 12 by 12 sheet of cardstock. If you do not have a scoreboard, a metal ruler works great. I got this from the Dollar Tree and I love it because it helps me to keep it straight on two different sides, which is very hard for me to do. <laughs> so if you did not have a... Um, If you did not have one of these and you have a Cricut machine, you can use this little stylus pen that comes with your Cricut machine. If you don't have that, Dollar Tree does carry the embossing um, tools there. And you would just use your ruler and whatever tool you're going to use to score against your meta ruler. So like I said, um, this is a scoreboard that I'll be using. Right now we're making the smaller box. So we're starting off with the 12 by 12 and we're going to score at various points on the paper. So first score line is gonna be at three quarters of an inch. Don't let that intimidate you too much. Each inch is broken up into two, I mean, excuse me, into four parts. So you're gonna find the third part and then score down. Okay, so that's our first score line all the way from top to bottom. Can you guys see that on camera? Yeah, I'm just assembling right. my, little, my little characters. All right. The next score line, we're going to move over another three and a quarter inches. So that one will be at one and a half. So we're going to go all the way down. And then we're going to do two and one quarter. And then we're going to do three inches. Okay, so we have four. Yours would be score lines, minor pin lines, but that's only so that you guys can see what it is that I'm doing. If uh, if I were just scoring at this point, I would just use my scoring tool like I'm doing right here. Okay. So then what you're going to do is you're going to turn your paper quarter turn and you're going to do the same exact thing. So that would be at three. Uh -oh. Three and four quarters, one and a half, two and one quarter, and then three inches. Same thing that you did before. I'm just going to catch up. You do a quarter turn. And we're going to do that on all four uh, sides of this. So. Anybody have any questions about that? Um, no. Right. As, I, as I was assembling mine, I was like, the girl didn't even show me how to stick things together. You just showed me how to fold everything. <laughs> <laughs> I thought about that too. I said, I just gave her the dimensions like, all right, then bye. <laughs> yeah, I, I had a few choice words for you this afternoon. <laughs> well, they're, get, they're getting the uh, royal treatment then. <laughs> all right. <laughs> so um, again, three and four quarter, one and a half, two, and one quarter, three. All right. 
So. Once you've done that on all four sides, yours will look like this with score lines, not with pin lines, but with score lines. And then what you're going to do is you're going to pick top and bottom. It doesn't matter which side you do, but top and bottom. And we're going to score again, but this time we're not going to take it from all the way down from top to bottom. We're only going to take it down one inch and one inch. Um, no, it's uh, what is it? No, nope, it's, it's not one and down. a half inches. I'm trying to think we're going to take it down one and a half inches. So you're taking down two of the score lines, basically. Yeah. All right, so you're going to go over to two and blah, 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 blah. on the bigger one, three and three quarters. So this one's at three. So we're going to go over three quarters, which would be here. And we're going to score, but only down to the second score line. So it would look like that, but just with score lines. Okay, and then we're going to do the other thing on this side. So nine and three quarters. So that's eight and a quarter. And down to that second score line. Okay, so what we did to the top, we have to do to the bottom. So this time, instead of a quarter turn, we're going to do a half turn. So now the bottom is up at the top, and you're going to repeat these score lines up here at the top. So at three and three quarters, and then you take it down to that second score line. And then over here at eight and one quarter, Take it down to that second score line. And that's it. Now we can actually move that scoreboard or your ruler or whatever you were using out of the way. And now we're going to do some minimal cutting. So. First thing you're going to do is you're going to take all four of these corners off, just the square, okay? So you're going to cut from here on down, here to here, and take those squares. And you do that on all four. Usually on this part, I will use my ruler and an X-Acto knife because I have a problem cutting in a straight line. I don't know why. That's one. So if you just joined us, thank you for joining us. I'm Genoa with A Crafty Mess. We have Tara on with Precious Delight Canada. Tonight we're doing a live craft and we're making shadow boxes. And... These can be done completely by hand with minimal supplies. Right now, I'm just almost done. This is the last square that I'm going to cut out. All right. So now you should end up with something that looks similar to this. We've just cut out an exact square on all four sides. And then we're going to do one more um, cut and we're done. So. Adrian says, well, maybe there, maybe what he's used as a tag. Right. That's what we're going to do right now. So these lines that we created that go down to those second score lines, those are actually now going to be cut lines. And then once you get here to that second score line, we cut in a diagonal to reach this corners on either side. Okay, so I hope that that makes sense. 
So we've already created our first cut line. And then we are going to make one more cut line that's going to go diagonal across to this third line. And we're going to do that on all uh, four of those score lines that we. So that's going to be our tab, Adrian, right there. And then after we cut that, that's the last of our cutting. We can put our scissors away until you're ready to add whatever image you're gonna put in your box. It's always hard for me to cut this side too. I don't know if anybody else has that difficulty, but I think that's just because I'm right-handed. So probably would be the opposite from my left hand crafters out there. Yeah, I have to cut mine that way, too. Yeah, it's like I, my brain just like same thing with me trying to get the camera focused. I, I just can't understand where I'm supposed to be putting the pictures all over the place. That's what I have to tell myself. OK, so then this is what the finished template looks like. And that's it, guys. So this is for the smaller box. So then to assemble this, what you would do is you would, on all of those score lines that you created, just go ahead and fold them. You're going to do that on all of the sides. And like I said, these would be really cute, not at, only as gifts, but as decor. And I'm thinking gift and or product display. I know that I'm going to be creating something. I'm sure Tara will as well. And we'll be showing each other in uh, our inbox what we came up with. I can make a big like behind my food or whatever. Yeah, as long as you have the paper big enough for it or you're gonna have to piece the papers together so i found that the easiest way to assemble this is to fold the two longer sides in first and then fold the sides that have that cutout that we created the tab as um what was her name adrian called it um to fold it in last did you find that that was the easiest way for you nope <laughs> <laughs> that's that's what I did and that's why I was cussing you out under my breath in French <laughs> listen so we had a little breakout session this morning um, usually we talk and we meet about what it is that we're going to do way before the day of however I was a bit under the weather this week so I appreciate her giving me a pass but it, it did put us a little bit behind um, schedule. So I just quickly showed her this morning, like, bam, you just do this. Boom, 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 boom. And then once I had gotten to this part right here, that was pretty much it. Okay, yeah, bye. bye. See you later. See you later. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I figured, you know, you're a smart girl. You'll figure it out. Okay. So, of course, your guys, yours would not have these lines on it. So once you've gone ahead and what we call burnished your score lines, you basically are just going to take it and just roll it in until it creates this little square. So See, that's the thing you didn't show me before. Before you were just rolling it in. So when I rolled it in, it was flat. So I'm like, you just gonna keep, just gonna keep rubbing that in, yeah. huh? <laughs> <laughs> I rolled it in. It was like flat. I'm like, how did you get it to be square like that? Okay, yeah, <laughs> yeah. So we're gonna put the adhesive on this part here because when you roll that in, that's the part that is going to touch here. That's going to be that bottom part. So you need that adhesion. Now I have purple pen all over my hand. <laughs> so you can either use like score tape, tear tape, uh, double-sided tape, wet glue. Um, I know a lot of people that paper craft prefer uh, glue gun. I, 
I am not one of those people that are confident with a glue gun when I'm doing my paper crafts. So um, I know I said I was going to use tearaway tape, but that wasn't the truth. Yeah, because that didn't work well for me at all. I was fighting. No. With that. <laughs> She's going to keep on bringing up all of the stuff. Huh? Girl, I was <laughs> mad. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to be using uh, my go to, which is the art glitter glue. Okay. And that'll actually give a little bit more give to get it into place. Yes. Unlike using double sided tape, which then you have to rip it off to right. align it. So I put that on and then I just kind of hold it down for a bit and make sure that it has good adhesion. I will take a pen or scissors and just kind of run it in and out on both sides, pressing it down to make sure the glue is getting pressed down. And then you're going to turn it around and do the opposite side and leave those tabs for last. So again, I'm going to put the glue here on the underside, the last tab on that underside, and then just roll it inside until it's square. And then take whatever you have that's skinny enough to fit down inside, pressing down to make sure that you get in contact. Makes and so it's important sense. that you do that because, um, and don't say nothing else to me, Tara, about me not telling you this earlier, but it's important that you do that because you're not going to be able to do that when you flip the tabs in. Yep. Okay, so then I leave the tabs for last, but same thing. On the underside of the tab, very last tab, put your glue there. And then you're just going to roll it in. And making sure that you tuck those other tabs underneath. I don't worry about it staying too much. want to hold it down for a couple seconds and then do the other side. That glue is nice. Oh, I love this. I love it. Okay, and then after, um, that one was kind of funky. See, that's yeah. another reason why it's better to use the white glue than the double-sided tape. Right. So then after I finish that, what I do is I, because I use this little nozzle tip, is I just stick it inside and put a little piece, strip of glue, and then hold it to get those corners adhered down. Yeah, see, don't say to, nothing. Don't say someone nothing. Someone had to learn that on your own. <laughs> I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. I'll do better. So I just put the tip in. <laughs> it's like today I'm going to teach you how to swim. Throw me in the ocean. <laughs> you did it. Take the life jacket see, and the dinghy I, with I, you. See, I see when you came on, you had how many boxes? So listen, listen. <laughs> Yeah, that's another problem. Once you start, you can't stop. Right. It, it does get addicting. So then there you have it. That's the smaller one. Um, I'll give you the dimensions for the larger one. You cut it just the same. It's just the, um, the score lines are different. So it's by 0.5. Or the large, uh-oh, or the larger one. You still start off with the 12 by 12 car stock, but we're going to score at every half inch for this one. So half inch, one inch, one and a half, two. And then you would do that on all. Uh -oh.
Uh-uh. See, my big fingers is in the way, and now I'm getting to the point where I'm rushing. Come on, Genoa. Keep it in the line. All right, so half inch. And then just like we did on the other one, on we're going to pick a side, top and bottom. And we're going to go in another half inch, but we're only going to bring it down to the second score line. So two and a half, and then down to that second score line. And so over here, it's going to be nine and a half and down to that second score line. Then you flip it over and do the same thing on the bottom. And then just like before, you would go ahead and cut off all four of these corners. And once those corners are gone, you're going to cut down the line and diagonal. So all of that will be gone. And you do that on the bottom and the top. And what you'll end up with on this one is the larger box versus the smaller but we started off with the same sheet of 12 by 12. Yep. Card to stop. Okay, so. This was. Two of the ones from earlier. And like I said, I, I didn't get fancy like Tara this week. <laughs> I just went ahead and um, I did cut out a little grassy background. I don't even think that I got the dimensions right for it, but I'm not going to worry about it. It's going to be a little heel there. And then I didn't even pop mine up yet, but I could pop it up on Pop Dots. That would be my scene here for this little box. And I could move this guy over a little bit, make just to make sure that that um, fence and the little cheek is showing. I haven't adhered these yet though, because I'm, I, I want the black card stock to go behind it. <laughs> I'm, I'm being real, I know I'm being a little bit over the top with that and then you know you could pop up some little clouds in the back of <clears throat> excuse me and just make it as dimensional as possible uh, another thing that we talked about is um putting a frame over the box so if you did that um you could pop something off right here off of this frame and then cover it does that make sense mm, let me pop it so, like, for example, if I had this chick cut out, I could pop it up so that it's sticking right off of this frame and then yes. cover it with the border Yeah, to give it even more dimensional, make it look like it's right here in the front. Yes. Yeah. And then the other one that I had, again, I haven't actually adhered anything yet for this, was the leprechaun with the shamrock. And that guy is just going to pop right there in the middle of that. Okay, so I'm going to stick mine together now. Um, keep in mind, guys, you don't have to use just um, images like pictures to go into the frames. You can also do words. The rose, you know, the roses, like how people do those rolled flowers. Any any kind of thing you can put in these frames. And then I also want to show you how the frames fit into each other because this is also an effect that you could do. Look at that. Yep. Where you just uh, put the frames inside of each other and then you can put whatever in the smaller one. 
Shake your hands, or you can make it a shake your Yep. So those are my little funky contributions because I'm putting no backgrounds on mine, but those are my little funky contributions. <laughs> well, these are my first ones. So, like if you have like a, a sticker or something, you know. Mm -hmm. that you want to give to somebody. You Can know, you see her? Get a frame. Oh, how cute. Oh, so I... Did she put a cover over hers? So she's got a little background. Hope she's in the frame. There we go. And I'll do the Candyland one. Okay, so I'm sw I was switching my cameras over. Let me see her again. She's super cute. And you popped her up. You said you have three different layers on that? Yep, three layers. Okay. And did you put a acetate on that one? Nope. Nope. It's just the light. Oh, okay. It looks shiny for a moment. Oh, just the light. So now for this one that I have, should I do the lines this way or so like going left to right or going up? I like to them right? sideways. Sideways? Mm hmm Okay. So I think I'll have this like this little paint splash that's on the paper because it's made to look distressed. They did the paper to look distressed. Mm hmm So then I'll put the candy line in that way. Take off the tape. And then this is just with like an acetate sleeve on it. So like if you're going to do gift packaging or product packaging, and then they would just slide the sleeves, you know, off of the box. Um, but also, you know, you could do very well do shakers. Put your little um, glitters and embellishments inside. Tie a bow around the frame, put bows on them. I mean, you could do so much different stuff. Definitely embellish the outside of them. Doesn't have to be just in the inside. So I was thinking, um, and I wish we would have done this before Valentine's Day, but you know, the um, I have done them before where I make uh, greeting cards that have the acetate window. Um, and it says, in case of emergency, break glass. That's so cute. That, that could have been something that um, could have been done. Or, yeah, so many different ideas on that. So I was just um, thinking about what we could do last minute since I was last minute with it this week. There's one. Cute. And there's the second one. How cute. And you could easily put something on the back of this so that you could put it up on a wall. But, you know, um, if you have like a Dollar Tree or something like that in there in your area, they sell those little small plastic little picture frame um, folder things, you know? Yes. So. That your frame thing. I have some on the back of the door. Little plastic, like clear plastic easel frame things. Um, if not, then I moved them. They're not in one of those pockets. Okay. Yep. So I have this one to do later on, and this one. So I'll post them after. Cause I had trouble trying to figure out what I wanted to put in it. Uh -huh. So it was just easier just to take these two. Plus they, they were already in Cricut Design Space. So, so. And Easter is coming up. So these would be cute um, for Easter. Put like little um, Easter chicks inside. 
with the um, acetate window on them. Um, yeah, candies inside, whatever kind of way. You could do a little perforation in the back to take it out. It's a bunch of different things that I keep thinking about with, you know, what you can do on these. But um, I actually, the first time that I did these, I made a few for my daughter and she still has them in her bedroom. She has decorations. So I did a few different um, images and she has them on her on her shelf in her bedroom. So that was a few years ago. So they do make good gifts and people appreciate them. And the more um, dimension you give them, the more, you know, people want to look at every little detail yes. and see what you were able to, you know, get into them. So exactly, exactly. And then this one too. Uh... Exactly. So I think when I do the bigger frames tomorrow, I'm going to use my paper quilling. So I'm going to do a monogram with my letter T as a sample, and I'm going to put quilled paper around it so that I can actually put it on my wall. So I'll post that tomorrow. But thank you so much for teaching me how to do this partway. I knew it was coming. I was waiting for it. <laughs> I knew it was coming. <laughs> no, it's it's fun. It is, I know and it is, that too. <laughs> and it is somewhat addictive because, like you said, I did four in an hour, so I had yeah, to stop very myself. Easy, very, very easy, and you do not have to have anything fancy. Um, you can get by with just, like I said, basic um ruler and just something that you can make an indent in your paper so that could be a dull pencil um or what have you and you guys can see that i marked all over this with a purple pen you don't see any of that mark once you fold the paper in so you don't have to go out and buy anything in order to do this other than you have to have 12 by 12 paper yeah so if you don't have card stock or 12 by 12 paper at the minute, um, Toya, I think these would be cute in your in your custom gift basket. People always request themed items for your gift baskets. So when you can provide something that's matching their theme, they're gonna really think that that's, you know, the bee's knees. So you couldn't do like a smaller box with an eight by eight or as long as the dimensions are the same, it has to be 12 by 12. Um, you could use a smaller paper, but you have to make sure that whatever paper you start off with is square and not a rectangle. I don't know, or not off the top without me having to think too much. <laughs> I'm sure I could figure it out. And she's our, she's going to have the template out tomorrow. You better not. You better not. No, I'm just playing. <laughs> Who, me? No. She's already I was just saying the math. She's like, what is that? Because I'm thinking with if you I'm cut the paper, if you take it, if you take an eight and a half by eleven and make it into an eight by eight, I think you can only do the measurements at. You can probably still I mean, do the point five. It, the the bigger the paper is, because listen, this is a twelve by twelve sheet of paper that condenses down to a six by six square, and the inside is not six by six. The inside is four and a half. Four and three quarters, or four and a half. Four and a half. Yeah, I think it's like four and a half. So that's out of a 12 by 12. If you're taking the paper down smaller, you're going to end up with borders that are going to be so teeny, 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 tiny that it's not going to look like a shadow box because part of what's giving it the dimension is the fact that we use three quarters of an inch score lines on this. So that gives it the dimension here on the sides, but also the depth inside the shadow box as yes. well. So the smaller the score line, the less depth you have in the box, yeah. the larger the box is going to be and the smaller the frame of the box. Because again, same 12 by 12, this one ends up 8 by 8 all the way around. because we use half an inch. The depth on this box is not as deep as the depth on this box. 
still very cute, still giving the illusion of shadow. It would say what? Still giving shadow box. However, if you what? I mean, less than uh, yeah. It it'd be very. It wouldn't give that much. It wouldn't give that much. Yeah, I like the deeper box better because actually, if you're going to do the flowers too, you would want the deeper box for the flowers. Right. I think too, if you do, this is just my math brain thinking, but you know how with the square, it don't matter what side you choose. Right. For the tab with the rectangle, I think it absolutely matters. You do the shorter side for the tab. Okay. Mm -hmm. But I would think the dimension should work the same because you roll in it, you know, to make it that way. Yeah. It would it, it definitely would work with any size paper. It would be a rectangle, but when you're going with a smaller sheet of paper, that's gonna give you a smaller area in the inside to work with. That's just logic. Um if you want a larger area, it makes sense to go with the larger sheet of paper yeah because so. if you we, we calculated earlier if we use the eight by eight if you take an eight and a half by eleven and cut it eight by eight and we did it at half an inch in the um intervals your square in the section we calculate would only be four inches yeah because when it you do came out so small, small. The, like the, the the part that you had to work with on the inside was so tiny so even yeah. if you took an eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper, which is standard here in the U.S., I don't know if, if is yours different. You guys do no. centimeters? Okay. That's inches. Okay. To ask because you guys do what? Fluid liters or whatever else. We do, we do milliliters and liters, yes. <laughs> okay. Even for so, our gas. Um, it would just be a rectangle, but it still would be a very much smaller space to work with. 12 by 16 sheet of paper and, and did a rectangle. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because <clears throat> basically oh, when you're is. doing it at half an inch, when we did the 12 inch piece of paper, 12 by 12, we lost four inches by rolling. So if you do right. a square of eight by eight and you lose four inches in your center, well, your whole box itself is only going to be four inches. So that means that inside is going to be under, uh, just under three inches or maybe about three inches. But I would you for like a um school picture if you like gift them like a little school yeah picture. that would be cute body yeah that but would yeah, be cute i wouldn't want to go too much smaller. yeah you have to to walk that'd be cute but this size is good if you want to do monograms. If you want to do somebody's name, like my name, Tara, T-A-R-A, I could do four boxes, one with each initial. There we go. Stick it up on the back of my wall, and then I have my name in little frames, different color frames. Still? Okay. Yeah, my internet just was going in and out. Sorry about that. Sorry about that. No problem. Okay. All righty, well... I'm excited to see what it is that you come up with. Um, I was thinking, you know how we did, how we did this one? Please, I was gonna ask you, can you do that next week? Um, yeah, we can. Cause I was gonna ask you if you could do that today, but I know that you were tired, so this worked out better. Because <laughs> I'm looking at my—I never finished my. I, I have the 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 border of it, but I can't find the actual book part. So yes, I like to make more. Yeah, so I was just thinking, like on this one, um, how each level has a different thing on it, you know. So you have the background, but then the candy dish is one level ahead of that, and then you have, you know, so. You could do the same concept with the um, with the shadow oh. boxes too, mm -hmm. which is cute. Yeah, right. Like you could do that with your bunny rabbit. Do it with the bunny rabbit. Yeah, maybe I'll do that. I'll pop up some more characters in there, and I do need to get another piece of grass that's going to cover that other side that I didn't 
<laughs> that I didn't get. No, well, the other side of the grass, it just looks like it's a it's a hedge with a fence, like the bunny rabbit came from around the corner. Yeah, it doesn't reach all the way to the other end, though. It, it kind of stops abru really abruptly. Or put some eggs. See how straight it is? Oh, there. So you have another, all small, that. another small piece of greenery on the other side. Right. A tree or something. Yeah, and pop that up. And then put the bunny as the next layer. After you get your black cardstock. I don't know why that killed my spirit. So, <laughs> and I'm pulling out all this 12 by 12 cardstock, or so it looks like 12 by 12 cardstock, but it has all these cuts in it that <laughs> I've already cut stuff out of it. So, there's not one full sheet. Yeah, I know. Yeah. It is what it is. Because I found some really nice pattern paper, and when I pulled it out, there's a big old cut at the bottom. There's a star missing on this piece. And there's nice design paper that I could have made a frame with. Yeah, so I'll get over that, though. I'll get over that. Tomorrow's another day. So I'll be at Michael's tomorrow buying some more. <laughs> so I'll just have to look and see who's having the sale. It'll be uh, either Michael's Hobby Lobby or um, Joanne. I got my white paper at Michael's. It was um, one pack was eleven ninety nine. Get the second and third, whatever, at fifty percent off. So I was able to get three packs of paper for about twenty six bucks Canadian. I don't know how it is with your Michael's. Plus, I had thirty percent off. Oh, so yes, so it was worth going. Recent. So. Was that recent? Um, last week, I think the last time I left the house was Saturday. So yeah, that's Saturday. Yeah, they always give us the twenty percent off, but you know, your 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 guys, it always it's always higher in Canada anyway. Yeah, it's always thirty percent is the minimum, and then randomly we'll get a forty percent once a month, and then if we're lucky, sometimes a sixty percent, and maybe once every two years, eighty percent off, but on very selective items. Cause like they're trying to liquidate or whatever. So. Yeah. And then our Michael's here, I can't speak for everywhere because I've seen some unboxings that have been really awesome, but our Michael's here, the grab boxes are horrible. We don't get them. At least not I, where I am. For a long time, they didn't have them. So I was seeing all these people do these unboxing videos and they were getting their Michael's box and opening them and, Oh, it's so nice. Oh, $5. So I was excited about that. So when they finally did it in my store, I bought two. It was junk. Everything in it was junk. I don't think that I've used anything that was in that box other than there was a pack of pink tissue paper that I ended up using. So there should we should do some challenges in the next coming months, um, making stuff with, with junk, I guess, stuff that we wouldn't normally craft with. Let's get out of our comfort zone and try to use stuff that we would never have used previously. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Interesting. <laughs> <laughs> to be able to see the, the potential and some of that stuff in that box, I didn't see any potential. Um, yeah, it was horrible. <laughs> I was disappointed because I've seen some things in the clearance aisle that I would purchase, if, mm -hmm. you know, so why not put some of that stuff in there? I mean, it was like broken jewelry pieces, um, letters that nobody really ever gets. X. Yeah. X with you. Um, yeah, stuff like that. And a lot of tissue paper. A lot of tissue paper. And I got um, happy birthday bags. Like, you know, like gift bags, which I don't need those. <laughs> I, I used them, but I didn't need them. I, I would have rather have my five dollars back. <laughs> no, I, I don't want that. any of that stuff. <laughs> so you didn't get any cuties in your box? Nothing. Nothing that I can remember. If I did, it was pretty unremarkable because I don't 
not one thing in there that I've used and that I was like, oh, okay, no. And if I, if, even if I had found something in my box that was like nothing that was worth $5. Yeah, I agree. And definitely not worth 10 because I bought two of them. I was very disappointed in myself. I said, you know what? That's what I get. It was earmuffs all over again. It was earmuffs all over again, just <laughs> utter disappointment in myself, especially because I knew better, but I did it anyway. <laughs> I was like, that could have been stickers, that could have been a pack of paper, some pens, something that I could have okay. actually used. It. Now you know. I want to show you one other thing to my other craft room. Give me one second. All right. Yes, we truly appreciate all the engagement. And yes, we will be doing another shadow box next week. Same time, same place. We're just, just a rectangle, I agree. Okay. So, some of you. And here are friends with me on social media. Some of you are not. If you are friends with me on social media, then you seen the post the other day when I ventured to my local, um, what do they call it? Liquidation, like liquidation store in my area. So each day um, is a different dollar amount. So basically they just are reselling like Amazon pallets and that type of stuff. So they're liquidating all these items. So Friday, it's, everything is $10 a piece. Then the next day it goes down. It's like $9 and eight and then all the way until Mondays where everything is a dollar. However, once you get to the Mondays, it's like the last of the last of these pallets. It's been picked over all week by everybody. So you really get just like the bottom of the barrel type stuff. However, I was able to find some really awesome things um three of which were some halloween costumes so i i picked up three halloween costumes for one dollar very excited about my halloween costume if you're friends with me on social media you saw my halloween costume already because i couldn't wait to get home and try it on and show everybody i was so excited but i did pick up some things that i thought would be useful in the business as well and they were only a dollar each so i wanted to share those with you guys because i was excited about it um, first thing I probably to the end of this year, but I was able to pick up this entire pack of wooden Christmas ornaments. So these are really good to put images on. Um, if you were here with us last week, then you saw when we added sublimation to wood, sublimation to glass. So you could actually sub on these using the technique that we did during last week's live here on YouTube. So a dollar and I got all of these. I think that's awesome. And they're thick. Yeah, they're a nice, nice size. I'm excited about that. Um, even if you painted them and put vinyl on them, epoxy, res, I mean, there's a lot of things that you could do with them. The other thing is I picked up this entire bag and I was like, what, what is that? What are those pillowcases? No, they is this whole bag of drawstring canvas bags. Oh. Now these can be used for Santa sacks. You know, like also yeah. um, Easter is coming up. So I figure these are a whole bunch of different things that you can use. Also, if someone is um, purchasing um, items from you and, you know, you could use this as packaging, put your logo on it, all different kind of ways that this can actually be used. So I was excited. I didn't count how many were in here. I just picked it up and quickly just put it in my little cart. But I got this whole bag full of them and I only paid a dollar for all of them. So I was excited about that. Then, lastly, I saw this 
plastic bag full of these mylar. Oh, bags. those are pretty. So these can be used. I was thinking bookmarks, um, pens when I do my pens. Um, those are beautiful. Up. Yes, I said pens. <laughs> Be back here making funny pens, pens. <laughs> the emphasis on the p. Um, I was even thinking about when I do my pretzels, but I was kind of scared because the package was open. So I yeah, I would, I, would, do I would do it for that, but definitely for my bookmarks and my pens, and and maybe something else. Oh, I have those necklaces, those African pendant necklaces. Mm -hmm. I put those in there. I have some zodiac necklaces. Um, yeah, definitely. <laughs> those long keychains. Yeah. So I got a bunch of those, and they are in this rubber band here. So I'm excited about that. die cut sticker sets I put them in the the you know the rectangular ones mm -hmm. but I always wanted to order some of these when um I started doing the sublimation pens because I you know I don't like just the sleeve you know, that they come in it's just a little yeah. plastic rinky dink sleeve um yeah what else do you think could go in there now, just thought about that when you you know you see how sometimes people do those long strips of stickers instead that would of work the, perfectly. yeah those long strips of stickers when they do like the little small tiny yeah that yeah. would be cute. nail decals decals for your nails your tattoos <laughs> your little tattoos that you make yeah on and and on. Oh, and even when you do like, you know, sometimes people, you know, like a vinyl, well, you, yeah, you say, no, you don't want to do all that, but you know, <laughs> sometimes people just want you to cut out their name in vinyl. They don't have a, a machine, you know, a machine to do it and they want to put it on something. And so they'll ask you to do it. And that would be cute when it's just, you know, something long and skinny. So I thought that was an awesome $3 investment. Yeah. And even though I can't, I can't think of anything else. That's what Pinterest well, is for. Well, you know, I, now that I thought about too, you know, sometimes people want memorial ornaments and that's something that is year round. That's not just Christmas time. So that would be yeah. an option for that as well. All right. Well, did you have anything else that you'd like to leave the peoples for this evening? No, just thank you guys so much for watching. For those of you watching the replay, thank you as well. Um, please go and subscribe to my channel. And also we'll be back here next week doing the other shadow box, right? Which you're going to give me the, the dimensions and how to assemble. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Did you want to be all yeah. fancy and stuff? Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm gonna get maybe. fancy on you next week. I'll get fancy, but thank you so much too for having me on. As always, um, sorry guys about last week technical difficulties, but I was really happy that I got these done. I was really happy. I had I haven't used my cricket in about a week, so yeah, I I'm going to be cutting some more tonight. <laughs> oh, I think you froze. Patrice Beckett, you said what? Um, oh, great idea in regards to the bags. Uh, in regards to the costumes that she bought, you can check it in the Facebook group. She did post them. Janelle, you're frozen. <laughs> oh, she's going to come back in a few seconds. Oh, 
Oh, you lost connection? Okay. Well, it's not going to kick me out, right? We have technical technical difficulties. So for those of you watching the replay, please like, subscribe, comment, because it does help with the algorithm. And we are going to try our best to be here every single Friday. Um, sorry, I'm looking at my phone also. We'll try our best to be here every single Friday, bring you some new crafts. Uh, let's see, will she be able to get in? Re-enter StreamYard. Mixology, myself, do you want me to exit and come back in? Thank you, my dear. Mixology, do I come out and come back in? Will it be the same stream or will she have to start again? Sorry, guys. Technical difficulties. Give us a second. Okay. No, she's coming up. Perfecto. So just to show you guys again what I did. I did this one. And this one. And the clip art is from Mushka Clip Art. I don't know. Can you guys see? It looks kind of blurry. My camera is kind of dirty. Uh, so these are my girls. Uh, this way and this way. And I do have two other boxes to do. So I did this one and this one. And so I will decorate them later on tomorrow. Let me move this out of the way. No, she is coming up. So we should see her shortly. And we would love to see you guys work too. So if you are not already in the Facebook group, which is BGCN, Black Girls Crafting Network, please join. And when you do join, just post your crafts that you've learned and that you've made from watching the lives. And also just tag us so that we see the post. Um, if you do make anything from the lives on Instagram and you're going to post it there, um, just tag us. Uh, it's at, at uh, Brickamore and at Precious Delights Canada so that we can see your work as well. Because we like to see what you guys make with what we teach you. It's very, very nice and complimentary and very refreshing to know that you guys are trying out the stuff that we're showing you. If you guys see me looking down, it's because I'm looking at my phone. I don't see the comments on the laptop for some very odd reason. Let me see. Oh, wait a bit longer and see what happens. Because I'm not the one who's uh, who started the stream. So I'm not the one who's recording it. And we don't want to lose anything. There's some good content tonight. <laughs> Re-enter StreamYard. No problem, I'm here. I'll hold down the fort. <laughs> Let's see here. Last week was my turn. This time it's your turn. Oh, we can hear you, but we can't see you. We hear some distant sound. We see a B, but we don't see you. I'm trying to switch my camera around. No problem. Oh. Boom. <laughs> Big old face. For my cell go. phone. Yeah, so it's like my computer internet just was like. Phew. 
Well, yeah. But also, it you- is Friday night, and so I have a house full of gamers. Oh, that's why. Because when I was watching on the laptop, you were glitching a lot, so I had to watch you on the cell phone. Sorry, my bad. So, my bad. And we were <laughs> right getting to the to the end part of the uh, the live, but um, I could hear you because my okay. sister's playing it on her phone while I was trying to get logged back in. So again, thank you for saving the day, sister. Yes, she's awesome. She's hired. Yeah, I would have been stuck without you. What would I do without you? All right. So again, I'm just going to reiterate the same sentiments for those of you who have joined us. Thank you very much. Um, This is still new for me, Tara. She does a lot of posting on lives on um, Instagram and on TikTok. But for me, I haven't too much done anything outside of the Black Girls Crafting Network group. So the um, Friday nights that we've met here on YouTube has been a first for me. And I do appreciate everybody that not only watches the live, but watches the playback. So I'm just reiterating and putting my stamp on that as well. If you're not already subscribed, please do. And go and follow my sister's channel as well, Mixology here on YouTube. Follow her channel. She does a lot of uh, great content on her channel, especially the cooking and so um, if that is all for this evening, then next week we will see you again here. Um, If you guys would like for us to come on earlier than 7 p.m., Pacific Standard Time, which is 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, and let us know in the comments. Um, that is something that we are open to going earlier. It doesn't have to be at this time. That was just the initial time we chose, and we've kind of stuck with it. But we want to make sure that it is convenient for not just the people here on my side of the continent, but also for the people that are in the Midwest and East Coast and down South as well. So, if you think that starting earlier would be more beneficial and that you'd be able to, to join us if we had a earlier time, then please let us know. If not, then we're going to meet at the same time next week on Friday. Same bat channel, same bat time. It'll be a different bat craft. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be my same bat partner. <laughs> and uh, we'll see you guys next time here. Yes. Thank you, as always, for being my guest, Tara. Thank you so much for always having me. Thank you, Miss <laughs> Ms. Mixology, for helping us out. I like our little. I like our little uh, trio. It's, it's yeah. working out really well. Yeah. Boom. Boom. And she's um, hopefully brought some food over here this time. <laughs> <No>. oh, <God. laughs> so I didn't cook today. You didn't cook today either. No, yesterday no, I, made, I made that. So I was the only one that cooked today. I made salmon, salmon and steamed vegetables. Yeah, yesterday I made the fettuccine TikTok pasta where they do the fettuccine and the spaghetti. Like See, she's telling me what she made yesterday. Was fire, and then there's no more. <laughs> All right, y'all. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and find, try and find some dinner or something. <laughs> And I'll see everybody here uh, Friday at 7 Pacific Standard Time, unless you guys request earlier. Thank you. Bye. Bye, everyone.